Diamond City Security? Whoa! You know, that'd actually be pretty cool if one of you died, you know. Just saying. Oh, I need some cover. So I heard that this game has a sort of cover system, but I'm not seeing it. Oops. Oh. Interesting. Where'd you go? Well, I did see you. That's Commonwealth justice for you. Are they all dead? Well then, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna have a bit of a uh, looky-loo through the gear that they are having. You know, grab some, uh, you know, ammo and stuff. You don't mind, right? I hope you don't mind, because uh, I'm doing it. Uh, you know what? Take the spoon. I don't know what silver is used for, but I have a feeling that I'm going to wish I had a bunch of it, bunch of it, if I don't pick it up. Yeah. Thirty-eight round. What about that guy that I showed up on top? Yeah. Hmm. Eh. Then him down there. Did I loot him then? Ah, oh, screw it. Oh, no fall damage. Yeah, okay, I looted him. Diamond City Security. <clears throat> Damn, not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of gal. Not really afraid of anything, to be honest. Protected by the wall? Diamond City is this way, that says? Diamond City is marked here, but I'm assuming this isn't actually Diamond City. Uh, I expect all of these places to be empty, though, because you'd think they'd be properly... Hello, turret. How are you? Wow, the detail on that turret. Wow. Hi there. Somebody gonna try and have words with me? You? What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here, crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but <laughs> Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> uh-huh. So who are you? <clears throat> so many guns and so little time. You just gotta buy them. Oh, so you're a barterer, huh? Sure. Let's take a look. Just think how damn good it'll feel holding one of these. What, what the cigarette or the guns? Mm. Mm, cryo cell. I'm assuming that's for the thing that I couldn't get out before, which I'd actually forgotten about till just now, but I still can't get it out, so it's irrelevant. Really? Wow, those are expensive. That, I'm assuming, is a unique weapon. I don't really 
really see anything I'm too interested in other than maybe some ammo. I'm going to hold out on making a purchase. I will, however, uh, give you over some of these laser weapons that I am unlikely to use. Uh, you can have that too, actually. And that, because I don't know why I have it. Uh, is there anything else? You can have the flannel shirt and jeans. Uh, fusion cells. I don't know what gamma rounds are for. I'll hold on to them just in case. Probably kind of rare. Uh, do, 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 do. Institute rifle. You can have that as well. So you're almost out of money already. That's that's unfortunate. I haven't looked at that, so I'll keep that for the moment. Really, this only contains steel. Oh, screw it. You can have it then. Mm-hmm. So... Well, pre-war money equals cloth, although you can't afford to pay me for it. So, you won't be getting it. Uh, value 45. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh... Boy. Ten rounds. Let's see. What else do you got? What else can I afford to give up? I'm not really thinking anything. You can have one of those, because I don't need both of them. You know what? Screw it. You can have both of those. Uh, so how much am I over? 90? There. Perfect. Oops. Did not mean to open the pit boy there. Uh... I guess I'll have a talk with you. Hi. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Just traveling through. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. I, I don't know if I like you. Hey, I don't take orders from you. Whoa, take it easy. Yikes. You, uh, come along whenever you're ready. I should just pop you. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Nice hat. You seem, uh, untrustworthy. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Not my business. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Ugh, another see-no-evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> no. Was it's not that I see no evil. It's that you came I'm to kind of on the side for. of it, to be honest. Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? I'm tempted to shoot you in the head Look, with a I shotgun. Get settled in, but, um, Do you mind? Office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. I, I really just want to shoot you in the face right now. You're Sullivan, right? 
So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Hey man, I was just standing there. Yeah, that's usually the case with Piper. Someone stands there and she talks. I'd be sick of her by now if she weren't so damn fearless. Kinda rubs off on you. Mm. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. Just looking for something. Aren't we all? Now, was there anything particular you were looking for? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? Me. Institute, the institute? Huh? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. I've seen since. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. <sighs> I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. Mm. Fine. I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? I already don't think I like this town, but, uh... uh whoa, what? What just happened there? Oh. Apparently a zoning barrier. Hey, you say that game, but I don't actually know how to walk. Hmm, honestly, don't care too much. What? Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall. If you want a history lesson. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Now I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Really? The synthetic, synthetic truth. Noodles. We all eat them, we all love them, and the Diamond City. And Diamond City's power noodles has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years, from the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl to the scolding tang of each delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5pm, enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own mayor, McDonough, slide up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. The shared experience of almost every Diamond City residence. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229, as I said around this very same counter, but that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles when the bar served not noodles, but ice-cold Nuka-Colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed thanks to Mayor Dono's anti-ghoul decree of 2282. But there is one person among us who does remember distinctly the events of that evening, respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her history in a Public Occurrences exclusive interview. I was there alright, sitting right at the bar, sure as... You're sitting in front of me now, 22, year, 22 years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were. So what was the harm? And let me tell you that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, and 
Said he was from out west somewhere. Didn't really matter. What didn't matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all sort of just crowded around him. Everyone everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful. Until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening, and the moment when things turned sinister, the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on. Must have been... Must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. Seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but not the sort... Not the smile sort of... Wait. But the smile sort of went from his face all in an instant. And then his cheeks started twitching, kind of funny, and I remember watching him, clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then blam! He shot Henry the barman right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask. When the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans. Since. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four of the other people, too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. Seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy. And he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then I saw the plastic in the metal. This was one of the them early since, you see, and we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was... Then we all knew the Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now, among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still, others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek. It was never meant to kill anyone, but... At that time, the why hardly seemed important. What mattered was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery, using a model of s synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles. Specifically, the noodles consumed by, by Mayor McDonoghue. Last Wednesday night, in the same spot that Mr. Carter the synth went haywire and mercilessly killed several people after spending hours sharing an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race. They were wrong. Are we? Hmm. Fair enough. And then there are what? All this and the truth? That was a pretty good story, actually. Hmm. Uh. Favorite puts on quite a show, huh? What do you mean by that? Well, folks are already plenty scared of the Institute. But that doesn't stop the paper from talking about them every chance they get. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I could build my own place. Screaming Paper Girl says otherwise. I guess she does. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? Hmm. I'm looking around for something. <laughs> Aren't we all? But. I'm guessing you're looking for something more specific. A baby boy. Kidnapped. A baby boy? Really? I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye. See, there's your first mistake. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. <sighs> I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up, but there is someone who might ah, be finally, information. Have. Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years, but so many more stay missing. And trouble has a habit of sticking to him. Trouble sticks to me, too. I blame industrial strength epoxy. <laughs> I suppose a sense of humor is a sign of resilience. So whatever you need uh, to get that by, was good. I like the sarcastic responses. I hope Nick can help you. Well, some of them. Not all of them are spectacular. So I've got a lead. 
anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's hey secretary. There. Come on, Ma. I cut her what hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Hey, Kathy. What? Can't get a moment to myself? Fine. What about you? What? He's just... gone. Gone! Hey there. Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? Do you want me to be sh shoot you in the head? I don't beg, you stuck-up old bat. Fine. Go ahead and pretend you're someone important. I'm getting bored. Why don't you make yourself scarce? Mm hmm And miss basking in your delightful personality? Do what you like, but I'm done talking to you. <laughs> now wait a second here. I'm kind of annoyed right now. I thought I was going to... I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat's over. No. Oh. Do yourself a favor you. and just say yes. It's all he understands. Tell me a joke. Man, right about now, I wish I had actually. What are you saying? I mean, I am understanding the word "what." That much I'm understanding. No, thanks. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. That's a nice outfit. Hmm. What? What's this? Question. It's clearly not T. So I, w I question, is there a weight option? Huh. Why? 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 Why share same key? Why do this to me? Why, why you do? Uh... Now, another thing. This is mouse 3, but it doesn't actually show V as being bound somewhere, but it clearly is, which annoys me. Uh... Doo -doo -doo -doo. What about walk? Fine. Wait. I have to actually toggle off cat's lock if I want to walk. It's Skyrim all over again. Uh, I don't see waiting as an option though, unfortunately. Is there a possibility of waiting within this somehow? You are so lucky we're in this Where town. I would pop that? you to shut up that radio. Museum of witchcraft near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Uh. Everyone else may be closed, nope. but Diamond City. Wait, what? Every conceivable good you could ever need is right here. If we don't have it, it's inconceivable. <laughs> right. So you have a robot to actually. Uh... Just browsing for now. Take your time, Mum. Ooh, an armor workbench. A weapons workbench. Ooh, weapons workbench. Uh. All in all, I kind of like how this currently is. Can I make anything better at the moment? Not really. I'm uh, missing out on screws, really. I don't. I don't really want uh, the du the uh, double barrel shotgun. I'd like to actually find a better shotgun, to be honest. Okay, you. My programming is telling me we never have sales. Maybe you should buy something else. I'll take a look. Sure. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Show me what you got. Uh, ammo, ammo. Pretty important stuff. Uh, nuclear material. Wow, alarm clocks have nuclear material. And it's fairly cheap. Yeah. Take those. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll grab that. I'm. I'm I'm happy with that. Ooh. I like having nuclear material. It's something that I don't see much of. 
Crystals and cameras, huh? Keep that in mind. Uh, desk fan. Grab that. I ended up spending a bunch of money. Dirty trench coat. I'm assuming that I can't wear other stuff with it, but I want it. Why? Trench coat. That's all I have to say. I want because trench coat. Mm, is there anything else that I can really, I really feel like... See, 100 steel for 864? No. 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 I can get that stuff easy. You know, typewriters have two screws. I don't... No, no, no. Wastelander's chest piece. Wow, that is expensive. Okay, do I have anything I feel that I can afford to sell to you now is the question. Uh, I don't really care about the acid. Uh, steel and oil. Still want to hold on to anything that can that is oil. Uh, you can have the mines, because I'm a terrible person and always forget to use mines. So, you can have those. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you can have those mines too. And I think I'll hold on to the hunting rifle for now. I will keep... Wow, ballistic fiber. Uh, you can have the Molotov cocktails as well. I'll hold on to that. You never know if it might be useful. Oh, right. And I have a ton of pre-war money. Okay. Uh, perhaps that was a terrible idea. Now I need to buy things. To make up for it. Uh, buy your 38 rounds... Okay. Uh, I'm still going to keep the 38 rounds because I could really use them, to be honest. There's two steel on me. don't really care about that too much. And I think that's pretty much everything I'm willing to part with at this moment. Uh, you can have that, though. Okay. Cool. There's a uh, power armor workbench here. Does this place not have an inn or something? You need something, Scaver? Public? No, I don't need that place. I need. I don't need a chapel. I need somewhere I can sleep. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout inn, and that's the bull. Ah, here we go. What can I say? Madame, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yeti. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When will out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly, Redeem! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yeti. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Okay. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know. Oh. You seem to have a problem. Need a room? What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms, mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Yeah. You know what? I'll give you I'll ten caps it. or a room. Room two. Just through the door. Room two, huh? Oh. Oh, they actually marked the rooms. Why didn't you do that before? The other games. Totally didn't see that. Uh, I'll go with four hours because I don't know when the shops to open. Although, I think in most, Bethes most Bethesda games, they're eight to eight. Oh, now I feel well rested. Have a nice stay. No, I had my stay. I'm leaving now. Anybody interesting around here? Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. Excuse me. Hey, what's your story? Mercenary? Care of Vanguard. 
Uh, mercenary. Blood, bullets, and money. All the way. Right? Well, maybe not so much the blood part if you can help it, but I hear you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over. Seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. Vault, huh? You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but everyone...